Hey, get back on. Hey, get back on. Let's get back on. Let's get back on.
Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I made you think my highlights started at the free throw line and not in the gym. Maybe I made you think that every shot I took was a game winner. That my game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it's my fault that you didn't see that failure gave me strength, that my pain was my motivation. Maybe I led you to believe that basketball was a God-given gift and not something I worked for every single day of my life. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you're just making excuses. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Decatur High School's administration, faculty, staff, and students. Welcome you to Seahawk Gymnasium. Your host for tonight's MPSSAA Boys 3A East Region 1 Semifinals. Tonight, we welcome the Clippers from James M. Bennett High School. If I could have everyone's attention for some important announcements. Stephen Decatur High School welcomes everyone to tonight's game. As each team represents their respective schools, we remind you that honoring the values of sportsmanship is the essence of every athletic contest. We ask you to accept the responsibility as a fan of this game to show respect for players, respect for coaches, respect for officials, and respect for those around you. Your support and cooperation will allow all athletes involved in this game to achieve and demonstrate their best. Please be aware this contest is being live streamed with both audio and video. Conversations in the stands may be audible on the live stream, so please be mindful when conversing, cheering, or commenting on the game. Worcester County Public Schools number one priority is to, ensure, is to ensure the safety and security of our players, coaches, officials, and spectators. Help us keep our facilities and athletic venues safe by immediately reporting any safety concerns to law enforcement or school administration. Please familiarize yourself with the location of the nearest exit should an unlikely emergency evacuation be required. Remember, if you see something, say something. Now, if you would please rise and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. We ask that all gentlemen remove all hats and head coverings for the duration of the anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would kindly direct your attention to center court, we would like to take a moment to congratulate junior David Chandler, who scored his 1,000th point in the Bayside Championship game last week. Keep that applause going. Congratulations, Day Day. What an awesome accomplishment. All right, again, get a, let's give David a round of applause. Congratulations. And keep adding to it. Thank you, 
Now, let's meet our starting lineups. First, for the visiting Clippers. A junior playing guard, wearing number five, Jaden Cologne. A senior playing guard, wearing number 11, Wes Moss. A sophomore playing guard, wearing number 14, Darian Collins. A junior playing guard, wearing number one, Zakai Smullen. And a junior playing guard, wearing number three, Jace Hudson. The Clippers are coached by Bubby Brown, assisted by Jamal King, Craig Winder, and Corey Holden. Seahawk fans, get on your feet and make some noise for your starting five. At guard, a six foot two inch junior wearing zero, David Chandler. At guard, a five foot nine inch junior wearing number one, the Curry Baker. At guard, a six foot two inch senior wearing number two, Curry. Guard, a six foot four inch junior wearing number three, Tribe Wise. And at forward, a six foot six inch senior wearing number 23, Bryson Coleman. The Seahawks are coached by BJ Johnson and assisted by Adrian Bowen, Jeff LeVan, and Ron Panair. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, tonight's game can be called in a variety of places. Get you on youtube.com backslash SDHS Sports. Again, youtube.com backslash SDHS Sports. Or DSN is also in house broadcasting. Check out their website. The DSN broadcast will be broadcast at 9 o'clock tonight. So you can go home and watch the replay. Again, live, youtube.com backslash SDHS Sports. And tonight, you can catch it on DSN at 9 o'clock. Good evening, everyone, from the Hawks Nest for the 3A. East Region Semifinals. My name is Sean McChrystal. I'm joined by my partner, Andrew Patton. AJ, how you doing? Doing great, man. How about you? I'm doing amazing. Great matchup ahead. As we see, Bennett controls the tip. Shot by Smullen. No good. Coleman with the rebound. Pushes ahead to Baker. Look to slow things down. We'll set the starting lineups for you. Uh, for Decatur, number zero, David Chandler. Uh, number two, Kareen Bolden. Number one, Zakari Baker. Number three, Tribe Wise. And the Vanderbilt commit, number 23, Bryson Coleman. Seahawks looking to get something going. Tribe Wise in the paint. Tough finish, no good. Tribe Wise comes back up with it, and it's good. Did you hear this crowd right away getting into it? As we see offensive foul. A number 11, Wes Moss. How about that? A legal screen. First bucket of the game. The whole crowd stood up. Definitely feel the intensity in this building tonight. Definitely. David Chandler taking it himself, drives in the lane, no good. Ball's batted around, rebound wise, out to Bolden. Bolden with dribble moves, up and under, just misses. And Darian Collins comes up with the board. Bennett looking to push. The defense chance raining down. As we see, number three, Jace Hudson steps out of bounds. Ball will go to Decatur. Yeah, I like Decatur getting it inside early. You know, get, trying to get as many points in the paint as possible. Exactly how you can win this game tonight. Definitely. You see Chandler now setting up the play. Packed house, sold out. 
at the Hawks' nest as we see Baker for three, just short. Coleman with the offensive rebound, and the finish is good. Bennett looking to inbound quickly, doesn't want Decatur set up on defense. Great offensive rebounding by Bryson Cohen right there. He was wide open for the putback layup. You can feel the energy as we see a steal. Baker comes up with it, three on two, gives to Chandler, pump fake, and it's good. Six nothing run, Seahawks. Great pump fake by David Chandler right there, getting his man in the air and getting the layup. I've got chills. It's only six to nothing. Almost another steal there. So we see number 14, Darren Collins with the miss. Rebound Coleman. Gives the wise to Cater looking to run. Inside to Baker, bad pass. Maybe should have slowed it down there a little bit. Yeah, I agree. But honestly, I love the intensity by the Seahawks so far. Trying to get out fast. And they're already up to they're already up six nothing on a six-zero run here. Decatur now run now running their full court press. Risky pass there. Pass into the paint to Moss. And that'll end the Decatur run. Bennett trying to gain some of that momentum back that they lost. Bryson with the pick, screen and roll. Offensive foul on Bryson Coleman. You do not want him in foul trouble. That's his first. You don't want to let Bennett get all this momentum back. White bench warning. We have a, a warning on Decatur's bench. Crowd must have done something. Decatur now laying off the press. Actually, I think it was Coach Johnson was on the court. Yeah. We see him on the court a lot this year. It's the first time they've actually called it. You see the ball just taken away by Baker. Chandler, pull up three. It's good. Wow. What David a Chandler, start. Bayside Player of the Year. What a start by the Seahawks. Wide open, David Chandler, top of the key three. Absolutely drains it. Ball poked away by Coleman. Here, Here we, go. we go. With the slam. Oh! oh. oh. Hawk slam a jamma. He's telling them to raise the roof. Unbelievable. Look at this crowd on their feet. The student section. We are back after that minute timeout. Bennett looking to calm down the crowd. Doesn't seem to be working. We hear the defense chance already. We see the Seahawks running full court press again. We've seen it all year long, and we're seeing it once again in this first quarter. Zakai Small now with the ball. First team all Bayside player. Gives to Jace Hudson another first team all Bayside player. And blocking we got a blocking foul, foul on David Chandler, the Bayside player of the year. Bayside player, yeah. That's his first of the night, team second of this first quarter. Number 24, Jason Brittingham to inbound. Gives to Smullen. Smullen with the nice finish. Chandler now directing the offense. I like the Seahawks slowing it down. Drive here. looking to post up. To Bryson, mid range, out to Baker. Baker top of the key for three. Short. Bennett looking to push. Up ahead to Smullen. Smullen, no good. Offensive rebound, that no good. 
And David Chandler comes up with it. He's gonna throw the lob, He takes it himself oh, in the foul. Wow. And one for David Chandler. That's why he's Bayside Player of the Year. Thirteen to four, Seahawks with three minutes and forty-four seconds remaining. Wow! This is one of the Seahawks' best starts of the year, undoubtedly. David Chandler averaging fourteen point two points per game, second leading scorer on the team. Yeah, the Seahawks are twenty-one and two overall. Free throw, no good, but that was off Bennett. That was off number 14, Darian Collins. Zachary Baker hit it off his head. And they're on a 21 straight home win streak of the Seahawks. That's absolutely crazy. I think we see why because of this crowd. This crowd is insane. It's drive wise, mid range is good. Insane from the mid range. That elbow jumper is try wise's sweet spot. He is so good from that elbow. Jace Hudson now blocked by Bolden. That was all bold. Block party, bring the hot dog buns. Now they're going to call a foul on Bolden, on Bolden. Excuse me there. As this, this crowd doesn't like it. This crowd obviously disagrees. The Boo Birds are out. <laughs> it is only the first quarter, and this crowd has some crazy intensity. This shows how Tribe big this game is. Steal. Up ahead to Bolden. But stolen by Hudson. Hudson up ahead to Smullen. Smullen inside to Collins, and it's good. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that pass there. Trying to get up to Bolden. Maybe going a little bit too fast. Trying to slow it down, yeah, exactly. They Baker now. The advantage. Looks like some miscommunication there. Baker traveled. Looks like he was sizing up Jackson Moore there. Maybe a bit of a mismatch, but he traveled. Yeah, it's just a mental error. As we got a replay coming of the block. Wow. All ball. All ball. No contact at all. So we see now Jace Hudson driving on Bolden, and it's good. Nice drive by Hudson right there. It's 15. Decatur 15. Men at 8. 2 minutes 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Feels like it's the fourth with all this energy. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy intense. Bryson Coleman now, that's not a shot, but Tribe Wise gets the offensive rebound, puts it up, and it's good. Offensive rebounding so far in this first quarter has been the key for the Seahawks. That's the main reason why they have this nine point lead right now. Smullen now, Chandler on him. Screen set by Hudson. Another screen set. As he takes it himself, it's no good. Chandler with the rebound, Chandler pushing. To the corner, Bolden, Bolden for three. No good. I think the crowd would have erupted if he would have made that. Darius Collins now. Miss. Offensive rebound, Smullen. Smullen blocked by Bryson. And there's a foul. Once again, we're seeing the Seahawks get the rebounds. Every single shot that Bennett is taking. The Seahawks are in the paint. This is exactly why they beat Bennett on February 3rd. Every single time the Clippers shot the ball, there was at least two to three Seahawks in the paint to get the rebound. As we see, Brogan Eastlack now checking in for Kareen Bolden. Brogan Eastlack recently committed to Campbell to play soccer. Congratulations, Brogan. Huh? And he was wearing a Campbell shirt coming in. Yeah, he I was. As we see, bad pass there. It looked like Zakari Baker was grabbed on the shirt. You might not have been able to see it on the live stream, but could have interfered with him catching that pass. So we hear the defense chance. Number three, Jace Hudson pulls up mid-range. No good. Rebound Chandler. Smullen on Chandler. Chandler picked up his dribble there. Tribe Wise wants a post up. There's a mismatch there. He's still calling for it. I give it to him. They don't. Brogan Eastlack, I think he should, should have shot that. Anyway, gives to Baker. Baker with the nice finish. Through contact, getting the floater to go. Zakai Smullen now gives to Collins. And it's stolen. Chandler 
pushing to Wise. Wise with a tough finish. What a start. 21 to 8. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. This is the best I've seen the Seahawks the team Clippers, play this whole season. The Clippers are absolutely flustered. And listen to this crowd. The defense Chase chance. Hudson for three, and it's good. Hudson. Crowd silencer. As we get a foul there on Zakai Smullen. So we got some subs checking in. We have number four, Jaden Spates, and number five, Jaden Colon checking in. 22.8 seconds left, Decatur can hold for the final shot as Bennett's now going to press, which we saw work in the their second matchup, which in sort the of- first half it did. Exactly. And the fourth quarter, the Seahawks ran. That's as we the see, they break it easily. Nice pump fake by Chandler at the finish. Hudson now trying to put a move on. Goes up, no good. Rebound Moss. And they're gonna call foul on the on floor. The floor foul. Everybody was calling for a travel there. I'm uh, kind of surprised that wasn't a travel. That's Looked David like Chandler's second foul. That is not what you want to see. Is we're gonna see Zakari Baker check in for him. Yeah, both teams have four fouls right now, but I mean, it's into the first quarter, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, what would you say? A thousand Still. people were calling for a travel? Yeah, about that, yeah. We see pass in the Smullen, and he looks like locked arms yeah. with Eastlack, but they're gonna call the foul on Eastlack. He, I don't know. As the crowd doesn't know. like that. I'm not sure, I didn't really see it from the beginning. You wanna know, this is the same referee crew in the Bennett game on February 3rd. We're not gonna bring that one up. Um, <laughs> yeah. As Zakai Smullen is gonna go to the line for two. You see the student section stomping their feet. First free throw, good. Zakai Smullen. This season's averaging 17.5 points per game versus the Seahawks. Yeah, he's been playing pretty good versus the Seahawks. And I want to give him credit. He has been the key player for the Clippers when facing the Cater. Missed free throw. As we see, could have been a blocking foul, yeah. but they're going to call it off Bolden's foot. Wow, wow. I mean, we're sitting right here. I don't think I agree with that. I, I don't know if I agree with that one either. Um, Two seconds left though, 23 to 12, Decatur leads. And it's stolen oh by Bolden. He's got a chance for a buzzer beater, no good. I'm not sure why he tried to put it up there. He could have definitely got a dunk. We are back after the end of the first quarter. Decatur leads 23 to 12. Bennett came into this game recently, won Tuesday in the regional quarterfinals, 69 to 59 at Arundel. Pretty convincing victory. However, they have lost three of their last four to Decatur. Yeah, and shout out to Chase Hudson and Zakai Small and first team all base on. And uh, speaking of that, on the coaching side, Coach BJ won Coach of the Year for the Bayside Conference. That's what you like to see. Congratulations. It's Kareen Bolden now gives to Coleman. Coleman missed. 
fight for the ball. It's a rugby scrum. Cullen it puts it up like one of his football passes. Zakari Baker with the nice finish. I love the baseline drive by Baker. They're trying to get inside, trying to penetrate this Clippers defense. As we see, Jace Hudson just takes it to the rack Ooh. easily. That's the exact thing that, that uh, Zakari Baker did. Oh, up ahead pass to Baker. No good. You got to make those shots. Try wise with the rebound. That's no good. As Akai Smola with some nice dribble moves. Pass inside. Butterfingers. Zakari Baker up ahead. Layup no good. You got to convert those on, on those opportunities, Sean. I mean, the Steelers had three on one there. Now, they're going to call a foul on Zakari Baker, his first of the game. The Seahawks had three on one advantage there in, the, in transition. I'm kind of surprised they didn't get a bucket there. You know, Zakari Baker tried to take it himself through contact and then we get the layup. And then by then, all the Clippers players are down there to get the rebound. Jace Hudson now sizing up Bolden. Screen set. Jace Hudson mid range, no good. Rebound, Smullen. Bennett looks to reset. The Decatur's got to get this crowd back into things. Zakai Smullen, mid-range. No good. Rebound, East Slack. Pass up ahead to Baker. Not sure that was the greatest of passes. Yeah, we saw that when the Steelers trying to get to Kareem Bolden in the first quarter, and it got stolen. Pretty much the same story there, a little bit of deja vu. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with you. I don't, I don't think I... Like that. Bolden inbound there. to Coleman. You got to make that. Coleman gets his own offensive rebound and puts didn't, it up. Didn't get the first time, got the second time. Padding the stat, yep. the rebounding stats a little bit. One more rebound and two points for Coleman. As now we hear the defense. The, oh my gosh, excuse me. As now we hear the defense chance. Jace Hudson now gives to Smullen. Smullen driving. Wow. Volleyball in the paint there. Went right at uh, Eastlack. And you're seeing Bennett run the full court press again. They're laying off of it now. Baker now just drives right by. And they're going to call a foul on Jaden Spates. That will be his first as we see Sir Judah Carmack checking into the game with the fresh cut. I like that haircut by Carmack. He had like the, fire, the tall hair. Yeah, he had like kind of like an afro. Almost. Right. As we see Bolton trapped in the corner. And now we see Eastlack for three in the corner. Air ball. Bennett slowly creeping back into this game. 27-16 Decatur. Additional time Bennett scores. The Seahawks As we see a right three back. by Hudson, no good. Blocking foul called on Jaden Spates. That's his second. Spates with two fouls in about 30 seconds. Second team foul for the Clippers, and as you said, second on Spates. And he's got to be careful. It's only two fouls, but if that continues. He's going to be out of this game real quick. Definitely. Bolden now setting up the play. Bennett in this 1-3-1 zone now. The back and forth between Bolden and Baker. Yeah, somebody's got to make a break here. He's trying to get into Bolden. 10 there. seconds on the shot clock. Bolden driving to the corner. East slack. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Trying to draw a foul, look like. We see ball out of bounds on Judah. Yeah, I, like, I like the drive by Eastlock there. But he was trying to take it in between two Clippers defenders. He could have possibly kicked it back out to the corner for a three. They're going to take a 30 second timeout. We'll stay with you. AJ, how are you feeling right now? Crazy intensity. Like, this is. This intensity is even higher than the game on the third, on February 3rd. Like, it's more crowded. The crowd is more into it. Shout out to this crowd and the DJ. Shout out to this crowd and the student section. Sold out tonight. Fantastic fans. 
all I gotta say. And speaking of fans, the last Decatur home loss was December 14th of 2022 when they lost 86-78 to Washington in overtime. That was the game that Zakari Baker actually had a, a game time three pointer to send the game into overtime and the Seahawks just couldn't keep up with the Jazz the Jaguars yeah, anymore. Beginning of the year last year, the if I remember right, they were they had a lot oh my gosh, again. And all this talking over the, the yeah. crowd, you know? Anyway, the uh they had a lot of in, in, injuries. They did. David they did. Chandler yeah. was hurt, I believe. They lost to Bennett at, on uh, opening night. They lost to Washington both at home. But ever since then, they lost a single game at home. Hope to keep it going tonight for the Seahawks. Do you see now Smolin fade away, sort of? Very uh, off balance shot there. As he slides on the floor. Bold and Euro step. Try Wise with the offensive putback. And it's good. Another offensive rebound and put back for Wise. He's had about five tonight. It's the main reason why the Seahawks are by double digits right now. Really controlling the glass. Zakai Smolin picks up his dribble, gives out to Collins for three. No good. Rebound. Hudson. What a block by Kubit. You know your quote. You gotta say your quote. Block party, bring the hot dog buns. <laughs> Oh, there we go, there we go. Second quarter, four minutes, eight seconds. Decatur with a 13 point lead. Yeah, you're the Seahawks and uh, Coach Johnson, you're looking to keep your foot on the gas here. Going to halftime with a very sizable lead. Bennett That's sticking with this 1-3-1 one, one zone. Passing to Wise, out to East Slack. Cross court pass, almost stolen, Bolden for three, no good. I'll tell you, this 1-3-1 one, one zone for the Clippers is starting to work. As they see, that ball is off of Eastlack. Ball will stay with Bennett. As I was saying, the 1-3-1 one, one zone is actually starting to work for the Clippers because the Seahawks don't really have a man to go to. They're trying to get inside the Wise in the paint. He just gets double teamed. There's really nothing you can do. Right. I want to see if I like the one. I like a 1-3-1 one, one zone. I do too, yeah. I agree. <laughs> You see now Hudson driving, floater, good. I like the shot selection there. Bolden now, you don't want to get in the corner of that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Definitely not, you're right. Passing around, looking for an open man. Corner, wise, driving baseline, no good. Rebound, Solomon. They're gonna oh, call it jump balls. Fall. I could hear that fall from here. Yeah. Possession arrow, Clippers. Both players. That could have been bad. Yeah. Luckily, they landed on their back and not on their head. That could have been bad. As in the second matchup this year, I believe it was Jace Hudson yes, who had to was. exit the game because yeah. he fell. You're right. Smullen now to Singletary. Definitely unfortunate. Back out to Smullen. Smullen looking to the corner, Collins. Collins, wise on him. Ball stolen, up ahead to Bolden. Bolden's gonna here. take it. Three pointer, no good. Solomon with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Collins. Hudson now taking himself, floater, no good. Gets his own miss, no good again. Bolden with the rebound. Gotta slow things down here. Pass to David, out to Bryson. Bryson. Fans are looking for a foul there. I'm really surprised there's not one cold. Collins now got wise in the air. Foul on the floor. Really sloppy basketball past yeah. two minutes. Yeah, both teams have had a lot of chance in the basket and have not got any to go. We're gonna get number five, Jaden Colon, to sub in for Wes Moss. And now we're gonna get Judah. Yeah, Judah Carmack, he's about to check in here. He's gonna check in for Tribe Wise. Tribe recently picked up his first foul. Both teams at two team fouls right now. So you see Bennett trying to get it in. They eventually get into Collins. Collins now driving on Judah. Good defense by Judah. Offensive rebound, Colin, and he walked. 
I expect that you can't do that chant from the student section. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Probably later in the game, I'm thinking. Oh, there it is. We don't know if you can hear them. Yeah. Well, they, it was only a few of them. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that, but they were they were doing the you can't do that chant. Eastlack now gives to David back to Eastlack. Decatur trying to break this zone. Gives to Solomon David. Solomon David for three. No good. Didn't even touch rim. I was looking for the seal. Just trying to get it inside to Coleman there. He was open for a second. Smullen. For three. As Zakai Smullen says something to the student section. Eastlack seems Eastlack's upset. Fired up. Well, he's been pushed to the ground three times this game. BJ's up, Coach BJ is upset. Well, let's take a short break. back after that short 30 second timeout. Bennett has quietly cut the lead down to eight. Decatur leads 29-21, minute 31 left. Yeah, that three pointer by I think it was the Kai Smolin. That was a huge backbreaker for the Seahawks. So they had that double digit lead. Smolin cut it down to eight points. Bennett now coming out of this press as we see almost stolen and they're gonna they're gonna call a foul here on. Yeah. They're just not gonna call a foul. Just out of bounds. Yeah, I last, thought that was a lot of contact touch, there. Last touch by the Clippers, yeah. There was a lot of contact. He slacked inbound here. Looking to get it probably to Chandler and then possibly to Bolden. Chandler's first action since the first quarter got into early foul trouble. Into Judah. Judah! See, like gets that, fouled. That's what Coleman has been trying to get to this whole entire game. Coleman's been sitting in that exact same spot as Carmack as Car was there, excuse me, the whole entire game, really. He's been sitting in that one spot. Still, look like on some possessions, they've been trying to get to him and on others. They really can't because they getting blocked off. Decatur's going tall with the Twin Towers and Judah and Bryson, both, I believe, six foot six. First free throw, no good for Judy. You got to make those. Judah looked a little bit taller with all, all the hair. Yeah, yeah. But um, if the Seahawks do want to get this win tonight, they have to keep getting inside to either Carmack, Wise, or Coleman. Second free throw, good. As much as possible. Collins now. Looks like they're going to let him run the point. Hudson, mid range, no good. Offensive rebound, Collins. Goes up with it, no good. Offensive rebound, Colin. Oh, what blocked a block by Carmack. Judah. Oh, the ball. Ladies As we see Singletary, could have been caught an up and down. Yeah. Collins for three, that's no good. Hudson rebound. And they're gonna call a foul on Eastlack. And they're Good gonna team technical up. up, tee up, Rogan Eastlack and Jace Hudson. They've been going at it all night. Dump. Both players have been upset the whole game. Well, they both been on the ground a lot, especially he's like he's been getting pushed down basically the whole entire night. We got a sort. Let's see if you can hear this at home. No shot, technical foul, because there's technical foul on both of them. Yeah, so it offsets. Basically, like in football, it offsets when there's two penalties. One on both teams. But Hudson is going to oh, no, shoot no, no, the no, no, no. free throw no, no. for the shooting foul. Yes. Uh, yes yeah. That is Hudson's second. And they haven't put how many East Slack has yet on the board. That's the second we were just told by Mr. Dave. 
First free throw good. We're gonna see JP, the freshman, checking in for East Slack. Freshman called up from JV about, what, mid-season, you say? Yeah. Governor's yeah. challenge, that's when it was. Yeah, I was giving him a shout out a few weeks ago about getting called off. Huge accomplishment for JP, and he's been getting a lot of play time. As Decatur lead is now down to seven, 45 seconds left. Decatur leads 30 to 23. Bolden now driving on Smullen. Looks like it was blocked. Pass up ahead to Singletary. I think he just lost the handle of it. In the Collins, and one. I thought maybe he was fouled. I thought that was maybe a little bit of continuation. This lead now cut down to five, not what you want. Got to get this energy back. Yeah. The crowd's kind of out of it right now. You know, it's Cater, you know, 30 seconds. One, three. And this crowd's right back in it. As Bucks Bomb is bad check in here. The Cater lead now down to four. As we're going to see Frankie Buxbaum checking in for Judah, and that's going to get the crowd going, especially the student section. Yeah. They all love Frankie. JP now cross court pass to Bolden. Not a smart decision. It looked like he, he's been struggling a little bit. Struggled in the Governor's chat. I meant, excuse me, the uh, Bayside Championship. Yeah. Played in the same location as the Governor's Challenge. Bolden now looking for the open man. Box bombs in the post. They could possibly get to him. JP is two. almost traveled. Chandler, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Chandler driving. Box bomb. And it's good. And Touched ball. about every part of the rim. And that'll be the first half for you, folks. Decatur leads 32 26. We'll see you after halftime. Coming go for new gymnasium. If you would kindly stay off the court, we'd appreciate it. Stick around in a few minutes. We're going to recognize our unified training. Again, all the Unified Strength and Conditioning members, if you would meet Miss Bone, right here next to the scorer's table. your attention to mid-court. 
This evening, we would like to recognize and congratulate our Steam Decatur Unified Strength and Conditioning Team for their first place finish at the Maryland State Invitational Meet last week. This was the first Unified Strength and Conditioning Team in Steam Decatur High School and Worcester County Public Schools history. Unified sports are run through the Special Olympics with the mission to provide year-round sports training and athletic competition for individuals with disabilities, giving them the opportunities to develop, to develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage, develop skills, and friendship. Unified strength and conditioning is held in the winter where student athletes participate in nine events, such as the bench press, shuttle run, deadlift, and jump rope. Congratulations to our Unified Strength and Conditioning team on their amazing inaugural season and state championship. Congratulations, guys and ladies. We're very proud of you.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, you can catch tonight's game again on DSN, 9 o'clock telecast. We are back after that halftime. AJ, how was your halftime? It's great. It was, I just, just controlling the camera side here. Shout Watching out to the unified strength. Shout out to the unified strength and conditioning team. Yeah, One state. Them. Exactly. Good for them. That's a huge accomplishment. Now we've had uh, two Decatur teams won the state. As we see, easy finish by Baker. The football team, unified strength, hopefully the basketball team. Oh, and wrestling, excuse me, three. As you see, missed layup there by Baker. Smullen now gives to Collins. Shot was high off the backboard. Ball's going to go to Decatur. They're going to say it's last touch by uh, the Clippers. That was very close. Because Coleman and that Clippers defender were going at it at the same time. Both touched it at about the same time there. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, an instant was replay touch. here. Yeah, yeah. That would be pretty cool if we had that. Bolden now to Baker. Tried to get it into Wise. Wise, Wise wants a foul. He, he wants, wants a, a hold. Foul. Yeah, he wants a hold bad. He was getting held that whole entire possession. Decatur now coming out in this press. His jersey was getting tugged there. They're going to break it pretty easily. Gives up to Colin to Moss. Moss rejected oh, by Bolden. Are there any holidays? There's been all these block parties. He went up and blocked that of someone who's what? What would you say? Two inches taller than him? That is the best block of the season. Period. Wow. All ball shot it right back towards the crowd. Wow. He said, not today. Not in my house. Don't bring that weak stuff in here. Chandler now driving, got it poked away, and they're gonna say out of bounds. You know, I like the I like the uh, drive there by Chandler, but he was going on two Clippers defenders. I mean, he had Bolden in the corner there, possibly for a three. But I like the aggressiveness. Ball almost stolen. Pass to Collins. Collins reverse lay is good. Nice finish there. Six Cork's, point. Uh, go ahead. Cork screwing it in there. Six point Decatur lead. Bolden. Dribbles through two Bennett defenders. Pass to Baker. In traffic, no good. Wise with the rebound and the putback. Another putback for Tri Wise. You see the Seahawks, ladies and gentlemen, running a full court press. And Clippers break it again. Colin now rejected Another by block. Wise. Wise pushing. Nice crossover. Bad pass. Ball stolen. And they're going to call a foul on Sakai Smolin. Nice Smolin, yeah. That will be small in second. Team second, a minute and 55 into this third period. And we're going to see Jason Brittingham check in for Jaden Colin here. Brittingham. I don't think we've seen Jason Brittingham at all this game. I think we saw him maybe once. But yeah. he is a lethal three point shooter. He shoot. is. He is. You're right. Takes a lot of shots to be out in the arc and makes a good amount of them. I mean, why not? Why not keep shooting? Shoot to shoot. shoot. Bolden exactly. now, nice pass to Wise. Couldn't come up with it. Back out to Bolden. Bolden thought about it. Surprised Drives in himself. No good. They're going to say ball was off Bennett. Decatur will retain possession. I don't know. If I were Bolden, I would have probably taken that three there. He I had agree. an opportunity. Why not? They're going to give it to Wise on the inbound. Wise pulls up for mid-range. No good. And Coleman I don't even in. know how Coleman got that in there. He kind of just volleyball it up in the air. I mean, you know, you know what they say, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. It's a rugby scrum on the ground, Coleman with it. Chandler now pushing up ahead to Baker. Baker out to Chandler, Chandler for three, no good. Rebound wise, tried to tip it in, wasn't good. Football style pass up ahead to Smolin, and the layup is good. Both teams running back and forth. It's like a track meet here. It is. One of these teams has got to slow it down. And they're going to call a 30, a full, full timeout. Bennett time uh, does. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
We are back after that full timeout by James M. Bennett. Decatur leads 38, 35 minutes, 14 seconds left in this third quarter. As the DJ played, Cotton Eye Joe. AJ, do you do that dance? Like, are you a pro at it, would you say? No. no. I, I've tried it a few times, but I'm not a pro whatsoever. I cannot say I am. I got about three-fourths of it down, but um, the rest of that, no, no. Understandable. As we see Bolden now to Chandler. Bennett moving back to this 1-3-1 one, one zone as a nice pass inside to Coleman. I called it. I said earlier in the game, you've got to try and get inside to Coleman as much as possible if he's open. Is they're going to call it And they did it right there. On Brittingham. Coleman's been quite quiet tonight. And the Bennett uh, coach is getting into it. He does average 15.8 points per game, but I don't even think he has half that right now. Yeah, it's definitely been a team effort tonight. Everybody is doing, playing a key factor in this game. Lots of cross-court passes. Trying to find a weakness in this zone. They give inside to Bolden. Look kind like, of surprised it wasn't over, uh, up and down. Looked like he might have been blocked. As, oh, another block by Chandler. Chandler blocked Smullen. Jump ball. He's going to stay with the Clippers. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He's going to stay with the Clippers, as you said. Brittingham the inbound. Scorching hot defense on that possession right there from the Seahawks. He's going to give it to Collins. Out back to Brittingham. He's going to drive. Thought he was going to shoot. Exactly, yeah. And Bennett coming up with all sorts of rebounds. I don't know how that just went in. Isn't that out of, I thought maybe they were going to call out of bounds, but I guess it didn't if touch it could, the yeah, steal if, part. If it goes, yeah, exactly. You see Bolden, a deep three, no good. Smolin with the rebound. Excuse me, Hudson with the rebound. Stolen oh, by Chandler. Wow. Try to pass, here we hit. go. Oh! oh! Raise it the roof. Listen to this crowd. Wow. Wow is right. Crazy intensity in this Brittingham building. Brittingham for three, no good. Not a great shot selection from Brittingham there. Up ahead, ball stolen by Smolin. Smolin one on two, Euro step. Shot right. altered by Chandler. Gonna call it a clean block. Chandler now, they've gotta slow it down. They have Jump to, ball. Oh. Jump ball. That, look, that could have been bad as well. Yeah. This game's getting a little bit chippy. Yeah, somebody has got to slow it down. It's too fast. Hudson got his head hit on the Seahawk. I couldn't, I can't remember who that was, but he got his head jammed. And he was like on the ground holding his head. And David Chandler took a hard ball. And then ball. right there, David Chandler, yeah. Tribe Wise in the paint, gets fouled. Foul on number 14, Darion Collins. That is his third. Team's third. Two more fouls in the, in the uh, Seahawks from the bonus. That's what you like to hear. Exactly. Tribewise. 100% right there. Down to the line, looking to make two on two. Tribewise averages 11.5 points per game. Shoots 54.3% from the line. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's honestly not bad. Honestly, making one or two from the line. Averaging about one to two. No, you want to make you want to be you like get 80, a little bit better. 80%, yeah, 80, 90 percent. But here and there, you'll take one of two definitely. As he makes both there. Is there 30 second? No, full, full time, time out, out by uh, Coach Johnson. We'll stay with you, AJ. If you're Coach Johnson, it's what a full would, time out. Yeah, we'll stay. We're gonna okay. stay. Yeah, yeah. If you're Coach Johnson, what would you be saying to keep the momentum going? Honestly, like the Seahawks' intensity, but as you said, I think they're going too fast. Like they've got to slow it down. Go back to the fundamentals. Go back to the fundamentals. That's how you can extend on this lead, keep your foot on the gas. I like them getting it inside. That is beautiful. They've been driving on the baseline a lot this game, especially Zakari Baker. I really like that. Taking it to this Clippers defense, drawing lots of fouls as the Clippers have three team fouls, as I mentioned earlier, in this quarter. You That's heard, huge. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen, from the Bayside, Bayside Coach of the Year. All right, 
Here we go. 44-32, Seahawks lead. 3.24 left. As uh, Decatur is going to have the ball. Excuse me, Bennett's going to have the ball. Yeah, Clippers going to have it here. Ref's talking to Tribe Wise and uh, Wes Moss. Sort of going at it there. Yeah, there have been some key matchups tonight. You know, we saw East Slack and Hudson going at it earlier in this game. Now we're seeing Moss and Wise going at it. Decatur in this 2-3 zone. That's a fun matchup. Kick, Kick ball. ball. Yeah. Kick ball and Chandler. Good defense as uh, they're going to put in Jaden Spates for Jason Brittingham. He looks like he had to go to the bathroom. He just ran out of the ran out of the gym. Pulling Lamar Jackson. Remember when Lamar Jackson did that in 2020? I remember. Yeah, I'm a Ravens fan. Obviously, I remember that game. That was a crazy game. Refs are talking yeah. something over here. Not sure what. They look. Like they look confused. Yeah. Yeah. Very confused. And they're gonna call. They're they're talking to a fan, or no foul or a fan. We're, foul. We're one of the two. two. Yeah. We're confused too. And the Clippers were just inbounding it right down there, and now they're inbounding it right here. We don't we don't get baseline. explanations like the NBA where the official comes over and tells them what's going on. Yeah. That would be cool though. You're right. You're right. So you see ball tipped by Chandler. Smolin comes up with it. Gives to uh, Collins. Back to Smolin. Back to Hudson. To Smolin. Double team by the Seahawks. Smolin Euro step. Nice move, no finish. As the ball's gonna go off Bennett. Ball go to Decatur. Decatur with a 12 point lead, looking to extend it. Hey, you're right. Honestly, one big run here for the Seahawks. This game could be out of reach. But you know Bennett and the Seahawks rivalry. It's not over Anything until that happen. clock hits triple zeros in the fourth period. Holden now. Pull up three, no good. Wise with another offensive rebound, blocked by Hudson. Nice block Wise Hudson. mid range, no good. Kind of surprised the Seahawks didn't capitalize there. Hudson now. A couple wide open shots. Running the offense. He gets fouled. It looked to me that Spates was wide open in the corner. I'm not quite sure why Hudson didn't pass to him. That's bad. That's uh, David Chandler's third foul. Wonder if Coach Johnson is going to sub him out. Tough um, decision here for the Bayside Coach of the Year. I'm thinking if they do, they're probably going to put in JP. They're going to put in I East Slack. East Slack. I'd be worried about that. Him and Hudson have been going yes, at it. You're right. They have, as I mentioned. One more in the game. technical foul. East Slack's out of here. And one more technical foul. On, for uh, Hudson, Hudson too, yeah. and he's also out. So. so maybe they want, maybe they want to get Hudson a technical foul. As the first free throw yeah. is no good. Second free Se throw touches every part wow. of the rim. That is a rare sight, as you see on your slam cam, rolled around the rim three times there. Bennett now pressing. This worked for them in their second matchup. Doesn't work here. Bolden now. Gives to Baker. Baker looking. I would get into Wise in the post. Almost, He's on Moss. Almost pulled up for three. Bolden now driving baseline. Double teamed out to Eastlack to Baker. Baker deep three. No good. Tip out Coleman. Baker driving himself. Nice finish. Wow, what a finish. Getting around the Clippers defense in the paint. As we see, Euro step. It in. Nice reverse layup by Smolin. First team all Bayside player. Wise now. You're to seeing the, it right there. To Baker, to Bolden. Fun fact, we actually will be broadcasting the uh, Bayside All-Star game. Yeah, we will on March 19th at Snow Hill. That's going to be a fun game. I cannot wait for that. Coleman now out to Baker. Seven seconds on the shot clock. They've got to go. Gotta make a move Tribe here. Wise, mid-range. No. Didn't even touch iron. 
I don't, I don't like that shot, but honestly, Wise had no other option there. Collins oh, gets it stolen by pocket. Baker. Baker takes it himself. Blocked. Rebound drive. No good. BJ Johnson is, Coach Johnson is jumping up and down. Little surprise there was no foul there, honestly. And we got a player down for Bennett. Is that Sakai Smolin? Are the refs going to stop the game? No, they're uh, not. And Tribe Wise traveled. Yeah, that was Sakai Smolin on the ground there. That is big. He is. This third quarter has been getting out of control. You know, both teams are going fast paced the whole time. Let them get their injury fixed. 42.7 seconds left. It was a clean game in the first half for the most part, but in this third quarter, it has started to become an, I would say, unclean game. And they're gonna take Sakai Smolin out. Not what you like to see if you're Bennett. I mean, he's averaging 17.5 points per game against Decatur, first team all base side. He had 25 against Arundel on Tuesday. Wow, that's, that's fabulous. One was a pretty good team, too. Yeah, definitely. And the shot was blocked there by Judah. Decatur's gonna look to take it the other way. Bolden now, sizing up Collins, drives. Got Other. fouled. I believe that's his fourth. Yeah, I think you are right. It's team's fourth. It is, it his, is fourth. his fourth. One more and he's out. And again, one more and the Seahawks are in the bonus, but there's only 25 seconds left. That's been the theme of the year. Every single time a team is either one foul or in the bonus, it feels like it's always at the end of the quarter. Yeah, you never want to get in the, last, the other like, team get seconds. in the bonus and early in the quarter. Exactly. As we see, um, free throw no good by Bolden. Bolden frustrating on missing that first one, as you see on your slam cam. Decatur with an 11 point lead. You gotta make your free throws. But Bolden has had a pretty good game tonight. Let's see if we can capitalize on the second one here. Yeah, Bolden averages 10.6 uh, points per game. He shoots 73.3% from the line. Uh, and they make the second one. Seahawks up 12 now with 24 seconds left. Bennett can hold for the final shot. Yeah, shot clock turned off. We see Jace Hudson directing the offense now with Smullen out of the game. Working this zone, passing it around. Spates travel. Travel, yep. So now the Seahawks have a chance for the last shot here. And if you can get a three, they're going to have 50 points on the board going into the fourth quarter with a 15 point lead. I hope you're right. Huge. Bolden now working on Spates inside the. Well, they're going to get a two, not get a two. Feed the big fella. One second. Half court heave. Oh, almost my gosh. went in. Almost in. We'll take a break and see you in the fourth quarter. say the quarter where the legends are made. made. <laughs> Decatur with a 14 point lead, 49-35. Looking to advance to the regional final for the second straight year. That would be huge. As Bennett's gonna have the ball to start the fourth quarter. As Zakai Smolin is back in. Yeah, the Clippers have got to go on a run here if they want to get back into this game because the Seahawks, offensive and defensive wise, have been controlling this game. Rebounding too, offensive and defensive, mainly try wise, Bryson Coleman, 
and Judah Carmack have been on the boards. Poland now out to Spates. Spates to Smullen. Smullen mid-range, free throw line extended, no good. Rebound, Bolden, Bolden pushing up ahead to Coleman. Coleman lays it in. I thought he was gonna dunk it. I think everyone else did here too. Yeah, Ball I almost agree. stolen. And if honestly, I think if Zakari Baker had the ball there, he would throw a lob up to Bryson Coleman. Then the crowd would have erupted. Oh the, yeah. The roof would oh, have yeah. been blown oh, off. Oh my goodness. That would have been the loudest crowd reaction of this game, probably of the season. Colin now out to Hudson. Hudson, nice shot there. Just rattled it in. It was like pit ball. Bennett coming out in this press. They've got to get something going if they want to come Clippers, back. Clippers going back to exactly what they did in the first half, one of the full court press. Passing to Coleman in the paint. He quadruple teamed, and he still finishes. Doesn't phase Bryson Coleman. Double team, triple team, doesn't matter. Any time, anywhere, any place. He's going to get it done as. Oh, and we see a response right a back. steal by Smullen. Could have been called a foul. And he finishes over Wise. And then sort of taunts him. And oh, now they're going to wow. call a foul. Bolton took a hard fall there. On Hudson. No, on Smullen. That is his yeah, third. Is Smullen. We're going to get Brogan Eastlack in. Zakari Baker's upset. Eastlack's checking in for Baker. They look for the Seahawks to try and get this three point shooting going as Eastlack was open in the corner there for a second. Chandler now get it to sort of loses it. They do. Eastlack out to Coleman. Nice ball movement. Chan, I meant, excuse me, Bolden mid range. Rolls in and out. Collins now. Ball's on the ground. Eastlack comes up with it. Gives to Bolden. Bolden. Wise open in the corner. Pushing. You got to get to him. Baseline. It's good. Or you can do that. Kareem Bowling can just get coast to coast himself, getting the two points. Decatur leads by 14, six minutes left in the fourth quarter. You know, Sean, two points is two points. Definitely. And number 10, Anthony Dickerson with the three. Haven't seen him today. Smullen gets the offensive rebound, gives to Colin, loses it, gives to Collins, and they're gonna call a foul. Listen, it's gonna be on Bolden. It is his second. It is his second foul. Team's first. Brittingham is going to check back in. It's an and one for uh, Jaden Collins. And one for Darian Collins. You know, Bolden was putting his hands up there. Don't know how much contact he made with Collins there, but obviously the ref saw enough to call the and one and the foul. Call the foul and then the and one. Excuse me. 12 point lead, Collins looking to cut it down to 11, as he does not. As the DJ starts playing music while yeah. the game's going on, this isn't the NBA. Long pass of a head to Coleman. That almost went to the basket there. <laughs> he takes it himself. Bryson Coleman had a quiet first half and is now Scored quite a bit He's come here, alive. as we really see Dickerson has. with a nice mid-range. Coleman has come alive in the second half. Leading the charge in points for the Seahawks along with Wise. Decatur breaks his press and they're gonna call foul there and on, Baker. on uh, Jason Brittingham. Shooting foul. Shooting foul, yeah. Wise will go to the line for two. That is Brittingham's first. First free throw, good. Sorry. If you were Bennett, what would you be doing to try and get back? I mean, it, it's a pretty big hole to dig out of. We gotta start going back to the fundamentals here, the Clippers, honestly. Back to the they, basics. Back to the basics, you know? You know, you know uh, Tim Duncan, Mr. Fundamental. You gotta try and do that, try and get back in this game and start some rebounding off free throws. Offensive rebound by Chandler. Pass to Wise, Wise lost it. 
But if I'm the Clippers, I'm trying to get to your uh, your key duo. Zakai Smolin and Jace Hudson, just let them go to work, honestly. Set a couple screens for them, as it looked like Brittingham was trying to set a screen there for Smolin, and he does. Brittingham set the screen, as you said. Smolin now driving. Like that. Exactly like Tough that. Tough finish, but he finishes. Drive wise now, wide open lane to the basket. No good. Looks like it was altered by Collins. You got to make that. This Decatur lead is 11. As we see a three by Hudson. And now it is an eight point game. I called it, Sean. I called it. I said you got to get it to Smolin and Hudson and let him cook. Coach you have Johnson to. is living at this referee. Or no, it's a try. As Hudson was wide open in the corner there. And that's what happens. We'll stay with you. If you're Decatur now, what do you do? You got to do to get this momentum back? You, you've seen the law lose the momentum. Yeah. You know, Jace Hudson into Kai Smolin getting the last five points for the Clippers. And for the Seahawks, as you asked me, what they have to do, I'm saying you have to try and get through this press first. I'm thinking take it pass by pass. Don't try and pass it all the way up. Do not try and pass it from one side of the court all the way to the other when there's a, two Clippers defenders down there. You're going to take it pass by pass, you know. Methodically taking it down the court. And take your time, honestly. I feel like the Seahawks are trying to go a little bit too quick here. I think if they just take their time, set up a play, possibly some screens, the give and go, you know. Don't be in a rush to win. Yep, exactly. As we see the crowd now giving them some extra enthusiasm. But you gotta slow it down here. We need to get the crowd back into it is what we need. You're right, you're right, that too. It starts with one basket. It really does. One bucket, and this crowd is right back into it. I feel like they're just so watching so intensely. They're on the edge of their seat. Looks like there's some confusion here. We're trying to get a listen here, folks. Uh, we are back. We're, we're not sure what happened there. The ref just yeah. came over to the scorer's table as Bolden's now double teamed. They're doubling everyone now. Almost the backcourt. Bolden now gives to uh, Bryson, and Bryson with the easy finish. This like, that, like I said, pass by pass. 10 Get point inside. lead. Collins Just now like that. gives to Smullen. Smullen working the defender, as now we hear this crowd, the defense chance raining down. Hudson for three, no good. Rebound Chandler. And they're going to call. They're just going to say it went out of bounds. I didn't know if they were going to call a foul. Yeah, right? exactly. That, that would have been true. his fifth. That would have been Collins' fifth foul. There was a lot of contact between Chandler and Collins. You know, it could have gone either way. And Collins is going to stay in the game. So they're just going to say it was last touch for the uh, Clippers. Pass up ahead to Baker. To Chandler. Inside to Coleman. And he's got it. Just let Bryson Coleman take over this game. This double team really? up top is leaving Coleman wide, wide open underneath. Open. You're 12 right. point lead now. As I feel like I'm in the Xfinity Center and it's prime. Keep feeding the big man, Bryson Coleman. Steal by Coleman. I feel like I was in uh, Cole Fieldhouse. That's where the yeah. Terps used to play. You know, Coleman's gotten the Seahawks last four points and why stop, honestly? Keep giving it to him. If he's down there posting up, or if he's open, Small dish out. it to him. Out to Dickerson, to Collins. Gets it poked away by Chandler. Long pass, looked like a football pass. And, and one. And one, and one. And this crowd is on their feet.
Zakari Baker started off the season coming off the bench and has since earned himself a starting role. Might have just sealed the deal. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't speak too soon. I don't know. There's always the announcer's don't, jinx. Don't speak too jinx. soon, Sean. All right. Take it step by step. All right. <laughs> Calm it down. Looks like lane violation. Yeah, it was. You're right. So now Baker has a chance to redeem himself and convert the M1. You know, it would have been good if he would have made that lane violation and then he got another one. Yeah. It is You're what it right. is. Do you imagine a double lane violation? That <laughs> Yo. In the NBA, they do it all the time. They just don't call it. He almost got him again. We saw it from here. The second free throw is good. Almost 15 a double point lane violation. Lead for your Seahawks. Smullen now. Bennett not moving with any sense of urgency. They've got to go. Collins now out to Hudson. Hudson into Collins. All kinds of dribble moves. It's going to go out on Tribe Wise. Bennett will retain possession. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Great defense from the Seahawks there, though. Three minutes Great left. Great defense. 15 point lead. Kick Kicked ball. ball. <laughs> Again. I think it's the second time this game has been a kick ball. Yeah. There was one on right. Chandler, and then that time it was on Wise. Spades yeah. inbound. On Wise. There, ball was deflected, sort of volleyballed out by Baker. That, sort of, like he was spiking it. Yeah, that and Baker looked like. Uh, Ed Reed coming over the middle, just swatting <laughs> that ball away. Yeah, but the Clippers have got to get a bucket here. They've got to go on at least an eight or run here. Hudson now trying to drive on Coleman, and he gets fouled. Sort of a late foul call. But it starts with that. It starts with driving into the paint. That's if you have a man in the corner, dish it to him. But mainly drawing fouls. That is Coleman's second. So not too worried right now about fouls for Decatur. And only two team fouls for the Seahawks too, while the Clippers have three. Jaden Hudson. Hit every first, single part. Jace Hudson, excuse me. Free throw, no good. Hit every single part of the rim there and fell off. Shout out Atlantic Orthopedic Slam Cam. Sponsoring us all year long. Big shout out to them. Second free throw, good. Bennett back in this press. Coleman trying to find somebody, and Chandler was fouled. That foul will go on Jace Hudson. It's Kai Smolin. It's his fourth. It's Kai Smolin, excuse me. That is his fourth. That is big. Yeah, you're right. Even One though it's late in this game, gone. he's a key part of this offense. His pass up ahead to Wise. Wise got Pick it poked pocket. away by Hudson. Yeah, big pocket by Hudson. They're going to call a foul. Refs seem to be blowing their whistles more in this fourth quarter. Than the whole entire game. That will go you know. on uh, Tribe Wise, his second. Yeah, the refs have definitely been blowing their whistle a lot for both teams, you know. 30 second timeout by uh, You gotta take a deep breath, I feel like. Yeah, <laughs> definitely gotta take a deep breath. You know, there's a lot going on in this fourth quarter. A lot of baskets, you know, mainly for the Seahawks. I hate to cut you off here, but as we see the cheerleaders doing backflips, I wanna see you out there doing backflips. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna see that. Nope, nope, no, nope, you don't wanna see that. See now, that would probably send me to the hospital, you know. Uh, we, we wouldn't want that. I do one backflip, land on my face. All right, hospital visit. There goes two grand. <laughs> Surely the fans at home wouldn't want to miss AJ Patton. Surfing USA by the Beach Boys. Yo, they're like gonna the be Beach at. Uh, they're gonna be at Ocean's Bowling. Yeah, I saw that. Lineup came out yesterday. I like their song uh, Kokomo too. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Kokomo. Surfing USA and Kokomo are definitely my two favorites. Do you surf, AJ? Boys. No, I don't, yeah, actually. Neither do I. <laughs> I don't. But I would like to get into it at some point. Small and now setting up the offense. They've got to go if they want to get in this game. Yeah, Screen right. set by Moss to Hudson. Hudson for three. No, excuse me, for two. 
and they're gonna call a foul on, uh, looks like uh, on Les Moss. Yeah, um, it's, as I like to say a lot, it's basically do or die time for the Clippers here, you know? You either do or you don't. And real question, Sean. Uh, uh, Decatur will now be shooting free throws as that was the fifth team foul on Bennett. Yeah, now the Seahawks are on the, wait, Seahawks are now in the bonus. Yes. I did my little hand signal there, you know. Anyways, do you think if the Seahawks win this game, we'll be seeing a court rush? Do you think? No, no. No? No. 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 Tuesday? Maybe. Tuesday, maybe. Because that's the but regional there's final. There's been some controversy over that in there college has. basketball. As we see first three there throws has. good. Yeah. As we see a Duke player get injured. Um, Pretty sure it was Kyle Flapowski. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Hey, uh, in in the fans' defense, he should have got out of the way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he was just standing there. He knew they were going to rush the court. Anyway, Hudson now pull up mid range two. Smaller. Mid -range Smaller. Two. <laughs> No, that was Hudson, number three. No, it was number one. <laughs> hey, it's all right. It's all right. Two points is two a, it's points. It's been a long day. It has. You're right. You're right. You see. Ball inbounded. Stolen by Hudson. Pass inside to Smullen, and it's good. Decatur Lee cut down to 12. Two minutes left. I'm telling you, it's not over yet. And they're going to call a foul on Spates. Bolden will go to the line. Yeah. And he's a really good free throw shooter. Shooting at 73.3% um, on the year. That is Spate's third foul. So almost three-fourths of the time he's making two out of two of his free throws. Or three out of three. No. Takes good, a lot of three-pointers. Good math yeah. there. I'm always been at numbers good. Uh, first free throw, no good, as you might have jinxed him there. You know. Well, forget about it. I What's new? No? You, you jinxed uh, What's no? Brogan's extra point Seriously. in one of the football games. Green Ants. Yep. What's new? No? I am, I think I am officially the king of the jinx. I, I agree. Smolin now, driving on Coleman. Hook shot, no good. Uh, offensive rebound, Moss. Cater lead down to 11. You got to box out here. Got to be Seahawks. careful. Ball on the stolen. Chandler weaving through this offense, this defense. Uh, Bolden now. Slow it down here for Bolden. Slow gonna, it down. They're going to double at the ball handler. Ball tipped out by Smullen. Ball will go to Decatur. Minute 40 remaining. You know, the, Sean, the Seahawks' main mission here, even if they don't get baskets, waste the clock. As long as you I can at least waste Bennett's the clock. Bennett's got to start fouling soon. Yes. But as long as you can waste the clock, I think you're going to be They're okay. But you steal. don't want to do that. Collins inside to uh, Spates, and that's good. If I'm Coach Johnson, I'm calling Pass a timeout here. To Bryson. He's going to hold it. A minute 20 left, and they're going to call a foul. Huge Bennett fans foul. do not like that. Huge foul. We got to see who that's on. That's huge. That is uh, Wes Moss. Moss's third. Yeah, third. Bryson Coleman's going to go to the line. He is a 60.7% free throw shooter. Not bad, bad for a big man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let this Decatur lead single digits. Not what you like to see. It's always close between the Clippers and the Seahawks. Feels like every single time these two teams play each other, it's always close, no matter what. First free throw, good. Yeah, as we see, both games have been decided within 10 points or closer. The first win by Decatur this season, 65-55, and then the second one, 69-61. Yes. First Same free throw missed. Here. Coleman almost got the rebound himself. That would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. Collins now gives to Hudson. Hudson three, no good. Rebound wise. You just wise, gotta pass it up. You can't get in the corner. He's gotta pass it up. Bolden now pushing. Hold it. No, he's not gonna hold it. And they're gonna call a charge. Charge! Wow! We've gotta be careful wow, not to get attacked. Wow, wow, Coach wow. Johnson looks like he just saw a ghost. 
Wow. Wow, that is, as you hear highly, all these questionable, highly questionable call. But moving on, moving on. 57 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna call a kickball violation. We've gotta be careful not to get a technical yes, here late. Seahawks, and I liked Kareem Bolden. He knew that wasn't the best call in the world, but he did not argue. He just dealt with it and kept moving. Moved on from it. Hudson now, like deep to see. three. It touched the steel part above the basket. Out of bounds, yeah. See that time it touched the steel part. Right. So that's automatically out of bounds, yeah. Coleman to inbound, they doubled Bolden. Oh, I meant Coleman was to the inbound, they doubled Bolden. And Baker turns it over to Smolin. Smolin now takes it. Foul on Bolden. Almost got an and one. That is his fourth. Sean, I'm kind of surprised you're not standing. I know. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I stood the whole first three quarters. Yeah. So. Your legs are getting tired. I'm just tired overall. <laughs> I mean, we got here, yeah, what? Yeah. We got here an hour and a half before game time. That's the first free throw from Smolin. Was there good. was people lined up to the tennis courts Yes. Yeah. an hour before the gates even opened. I didn't see what it was closer to game time, but I'm sure it was. Crazy. Right. Crazy, period. Second free throw good. Lead down to eight is risky pass there. Uh, Smolin blocked. That's gonna be a foul as Coleman took a hard fall there. This is big, whoever this foul is on. Looks like it's gonna go on uh, Benjamin Singletary. No, that was, no, no it's going on Jace Hudson. Jace That's Hudson, his yes, his third. Uh, you know, both teams are in the bonus now. Both teams at any foul begin to free throws. And Coleman. They're making me the nervous. Line. They, they can't be doing Shoot all these two. risky passes. You know, I was saying just go one pass at a time, but at that point, I mean, the Clippers were just playing fantastic defense, blocking off any possibility of getting a pass up the court as Coleman misses the first. I mean, you've got to make your free throws here late in the game. Yeah, he you knows You need to close too. out this game. He's mad at himself for missing that first one. It looked like it might have came out of his hand funny, too. You don't really see a banked free throw shot. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Too much of that uh, Vanderbilt strength. When he makes the second one, goes 50% from the line, one of two, and now the Seahawks with a nine-point lead with 38.5 left in this fourth quarter. We'll stay with you, 30-second timeout as the DJ plays na 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 na, hey hey goodbye. You always hear that at every yeah. sporting event. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, but until it's zero zero zero. I, mean, I like it. You like that song? Yeah, I do. You I do, do, you do. I like Thirty-eight point five seconds left. Decatur leads by nine, seventy to sixty-one. Would you put a man on the ball here, or on the uh, person they want to get the ball so they don't roll it off the court? I would, honestly, I would. Like that? But they don't. <laughs> it didn't matter, it only bounced two times. Collins to Hudson, Hudson for three, and that's good. That makes this game a little bit closer. Six points, two possessions. Bolden weaving through the defenders, and it's stolen. And. Collins now blocked by Chandler. It was a clean block. It was a clean block. That's huge. My heart is racing. You, you can't blow this game. You're right. You're right. I mean, the games that they played this year haven't really been that close, so they don't have that much experience in closing out games. But this has gotten sloppy. As they're going to inbound to, uh, excuse me, Smullen, and that's going to make it a four-point game with 15 seconds remaining. AJ, I'm getting worried here. Yeah, and Bolton is injured. He's uh, he, we saw walking that, gingerly. We saw that in the uh, 
Bayside Championship game, he hurt himself. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, AJ is standing up. You oh, know yeah. it's getting real. Yep, stand, you know it's getting real when I stand up. So four point lead. What would you be doing right now if you're Coach Johnson? That's actually a good question. I honestly couldn't tell you. I think you've honestly run out of everything well, here. I guess that's not honestly. I guess that's why you're not based on coach of the year. <laughs> that's true. See that I'll, see that I can agree with. Yeah, you're right. See, this is why I'm up here on the booth and not right. down there as a coach. Right. Because I have no answer, honestly. I have no answer. So they would just be winging it if you were the coach. I'm just winging, yeah. honestly. Just winging, you know? All right, here we go. I'd be a terrible coach. You can run the baseline. Bryson having trouble getting in. And they're going to call five seconds. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is a crazy comeback. You know what I would do? I would run what Illinois basketball team runs out of the baseline. They run, run kind of like a football play yeah. where they set all five men on the baseline and then break. Yeah, you're right. That's honestly what I would do, but I'm not coach. Uh, no time. I don't know if anyone called a timeout. Nothing's on the scoreboard. The ref didn't come up here. Oh, there's an injured player, excuse me. We can't see over the team huddle. You you can't see on your screen either. But down yeah, towards the, the baseline, there's an injured player, and it is Jaden Spates. He was helped off gingerly. And Bennett will have the ball. I'll tell you what, AJ, I'm nervous. Same. I'm not even out I'm there. I'm nervous. Yeah, you're right. Defense chance raining down. See how Smolin Scott stop for three. Here. No good. Got a rebound for Coleman. Collins, two no good. Offensive rebound. Controlled by Chandler. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a foul. Chandler controlled it. And they called a defensive they're foul. They're going to call it on... Wise, his third. Try Wise. Oh my wow. gosh. Wow. 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 I don't oh. know if I agree with that. That's big. That's big. I'm sort of in disbelief right now. I've been disbelieved these last two minutes. I don't know what to say. I can't believe this comeback. As Collins, first free throw, no good. That's now, huge. Now, do you miss this one? No, you can't because no, you you're cannot. down four. You cannot. You've got to make this one here. You're going to foul right away, literally in one second. As you can hear the crowd getting into it. Covers. This is a big free throw. Second free throw is up. He missed no both. No good. Offensive rebound. That's no good, and that will seal That's the it. deal. The your, Seahawks win. Your Decatur Seahawks are going to the regional championship. Listen what, to this crowd. What a game. Seahawks pulling it out. It was close. It was close. But the Seahawks pulled it out. Seahawks prevailed. And that's what it's all about. Exactly. And we will see you on Tuesday against, against the winner of South River and Saverna Park. Wow. Two very good teams. That's going to be a great game. The two seed either way. and the three seed. Wow. Wow. That, that's a great, that's a great matchup. Either way, honestly, one seed versus two seed or one seed versus three seed. That's great. My name, excuse me. We're getting word from our producer real quick. We apologize. The game is in the fourth quarter right now with a minute left. And Saverna, Park's up 11. Saverna Park is up 11. After losing it looks like it's going to be after losing by 25 on Saturday. So it looks like to the same team. Yes. Yeah. So Saverna Park, we'll probably see you here versus Saverna Park Tuesday, March the 5th. My name is Sean McChrystal with AJ Patton. Until next time. <laughs>